Welcome to Traveler's Tales. I am your host, Greg Alonso. Today I will be your guide through history as we take a look at who were the Pulaskians. Before we begin, just a quick reminder that we post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday with special editions on Thursdays. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon to be notified each time we post new videos. Moving right along, mythology tells us one thing while archaeology tells us another. Who were the Pulaskians? Were the Pulaskians the people who inhabited Greece before the Greeks? Were the Pulaskians migrants from elsewhere in the Mediterranean world? Were the Pulaskians the original forebear of the Greeks? Today we will answer these questions as we take a look at these primitive people who once inhabited Greece. The name Pulaskians was used by classical Greek writers to refer to the predecessors of the Greeks or to all inhabitants of Greece before the emergence or arrival of the ancient Greeks. In general, Pulaskian has come to mean, more broadly, all of the indigenous inhabitants of the Aegean Sea region and their cultures. In essence, it is a hold-all term for any ancient, primitive, and presumably indigenous people of the Greek world. During the Classical period, enclaves under the name survived in several locations of mainland Greece, Crete, and other regions of the Aegean. Populations identified as Pulaskians spoke a language or languages that at that time Greeks identified as barbarian. Nonetheless, there were some ancient writers who described the Pulaskians as Greeks. A tradition also survived that a large part of Greece had once been Pulaskians before being Hellenized. One school of ancient writers thought that they intermarried with the Ionians and the Aeolians. In ancient etymology, based on the mere similarity of sounds, linked Pelasgos to Pelargos, meaning stork. This belief implies that the Pelasgians to be migrants like storks and that they were from Arcadia where they nest. The poet Aristophanes deals effectively with this etymology in his comedy, The Birds. Athenians of that time commonly believed they were the original Pelasgians. Other common beliefs were that the name Pelasgoi is derived from Pelagskoi, meaning flatland inhabitants of the Thessalian plain while still others believe the Pelasgians to be maritime marauders, which we know as the Sea Peoples. Pelasgians first appear in the poems of Homer. According to the poet, the Pelasgians of the Iliad are among the allies of Troy. Homer also implies that the Pelasgians were from the plains of Thessaly. This is a bit strange because all of the peoples from this region, Myrmidons, Hellenes, and Achaeans, all fought on the side of the Greeks. In the Odyssey, Odysseus instances Pelasgians among the tribes of Crete. Homer also distinguishes them as noble Pelasgians. Later poets disagree with Homer. According to Strabo, the homeland of the Pelasgians was Mycenae. According to Euripides, the Pelasgians were from the Argos and later came to be known as the Danoi. I have included a link to this very interesting people of Greece. Hesiod makes claim that the Pelasgians hailed from Arcadia. While a more interesting claim is made by both Aeschylus and Naupactus, they believe that the Pelasgians to be the first people to have inhabited the earth. And what of the Romans? Who did they believe that these mysterious people were? Overall, they were not quite sure who they were or where the Pelasgians came from. According to Ovid, they were the Greeks as a whole. What about language? What language did the Pelasgians speak? Was it an early form of Greek? Was it Indo-European? Here once again the scholar community is divided. One school of thought is that the Pelasgians spoke a form of pre-Greek. This is because many words can also be found in the Greek language. While an opposing school of thought claims that the Pelasgians show links to the Luwian people of Anatolia. Still there are those who believe that the Pelasgian language has its roots in both Thrace and Albania. Lastly, there are those linguists who believe the Pelasgian language to be a totally separate and undiscovered Indo-European language. What have we learned from contemporary archaeology? From the pottery, tools, skeletal remains, and other discoveries showed significant resemblances to those found at digs in Thessaly, while other digs, especially those on the Greek island of Lemnos, have found similarity to those of the Mycenaeans. However, on the plains of Skorda in Boeotia, Evidence traces the Pelasgians prior to the Bronze Age when the Mycenaeans ruled the Scorda Plain. We have many fragments that have been found and attributed to the Pelasgians. We are unable to piece them all together to definitively answer the question, who were the Pelasgians? 
Tell us in the comments section where you think the Pulaskians came from. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Traveler's Tales. If you enjoyed this video, please consider becoming a channel sponsor. Your support will enable us to continue releasing quality videos and buying me a coffee always makes my day. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Traveler's Tales. This really is the best way to help our channel grow. Until we meet again at the crossroads of folklore and fact, Cartistos. <laughs>